Hello! So we have Moon going into Aquarius within the next hour or so and uh, that should ease a lot of the tension that we've been feeling with every first quarter moon when basically the sun and the moon are at 90 degrees angles in relation to the earth there's always some kind of tension some kind of difficulty some kind of our emotions and our, our logical mind are, are kind of struggling you know also you could look at it as in terms of uh, past and present are, are struggling with each other so now with moon going into aquarius uh, it's going to be a lot easier to enjoy a lot of what this Libra Sun energy, this Libra Venus, and this Mars energy is all about, which is enjoying yourself with others, uh, especially friends, since Moon in Aquarius uh, loves to to surround itself with, with people of like-minded who you can be yourself and weird with and whatnot. So that's something to look forward to over the next two days. Um, on a more challenging sorry I have, I have asthma so it's hard for me to talk and breathe at the same time on a more challenging aspect of things uh as we talked about in the last couple of days with mars and libra again there's so much good stuff there the ability to cooperate to collaborate to be able to find peace and common ground and to be able to work together and come together and, and really craft some good mutual understanding is there um but the challenge and every energy has its challenge the challenging part of this especially with the moon in Aquarius as well, is to be a little bit too nonverbal, a little bit too passive aggressive. Now, this is kind of funny because on the other hand, some people might be too verbal. So it's, it's kind of finding that sweet niche in between being just verbal enough to communicate and not being too verbal to um, cause problems. That's, that's kind of the, the two spectrums, the two extremes of, of Mars and Libra specifically. Um, accented by all this other air energy so that's that's I think the biggest thing to focus on for the next two days is focus on being yourself enjoying yourself uh, and enjoying others and seeking to say just enough say just what's necessary to preserve harmony and and or to be able to resolve conflicts this is a time over the next six weeks that it's really important to be able to talk about what's challenging us and what we're concerned about or how others have upset us or whatnot because if we don't talk about it we'll start to fester and we can start being passive aggressive and that's that's not helpful that's not helpful or healthy for anybody so that's something to keep in mind um yeah we'll talk about it more as, as stuff evolves but yeah have fun as always i'm doing readings i actually have a lot of openings up uh for um, maybe later this week more so early this next week so if you'd like to schedule a reading feel free to get into contact with me uh, i do all kinds of readings i do love readings i do individual readings, uh, life purpose, finding gifts, how to overcome challenges. So if there's something specific that's on your mind, we can work on that. Um, there are always insights that astrology has to offer. And also just, I've done this for eight years. So uh, stuff that I've learned, I can definitely help and pass on to you. So if you're interested, feel free to get into contact with me in the about section of this YouTube video or in the bio section of my Instagram page. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Peace.